Today, I'm going to show you how to create flesh eating slug repellent three different ways. To create a usable flesh eating slug repellent, we will need one plant mister, and I picked this one up at Michael's. We will need some brown and green acrylic paint, and I preferred to do more of a um, standard one or matte version because I didn't want it to be metallic. And then you will need a foam brush to do some painting and a regular brush to do a little bit of dry brushing. And then we will need our labels printed on sticker paper. And the link for these is in the description down below. Now let's see what you need to create the prop version of this. Okay, so to make the prop version of our flesh eating slug repellent, we will need one plant mister. So um, I found this one at Michael's, but I'll put a link in the description down below to one on Amazon as well that is pretty darn close to this one. Um, any plant mister will work. I wanted one, though, that didn't have any texture. A lot of times they'll have ones that have a lot of ridges or things like that. So if you can, try to get a smooth one. We will need some rubbing alcohol to make the flesh-eating slug repellent solution on the inside. We will also need some brown and some green metallic acrylic paint um, and make sure that it's metallic because the mica that's in there is what we want to create a swirling effect and we will need our labels printed on sticker paper and the link for these is in the description down below let's get started okay so I'm going to first show you how to create the usable version of the flesh eating slug repellent and I don't mean actual flesh eating slug repellent I mean that you'll be able to fill this with water and then you can actually mist your plants with it um, so you'd be able to actually use it and it'll kind of look like you're using flesh eating slug repellent um, the prop version we won't be able to do that we're actually going to remove the um, straw that sucks up the solution um, out of that one so it won't be usable but um, I want to show you one that you'd be able to actually use in your garden or with any of your little plants uh, whether it's for herbology or just for your home so um, we're going to do this with the paint okay so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the lid off of this one and we're just going to go ahead and paint the jar with our um, brown paint first because I think because our label is more green with um, a little bit of brown I think I'd like to make the bottle more brown with a little bit of green so we're going to go ahead and paint the base coat with our brown acrylic paint Okay, so after we get a base coat, we're going to let this quick dry. It doesn't take very long to dry. And I'm going to do a second coat of the brown just because you are painting on glass. Um, it doesn't always take as um, opaque as we'd like it to. It will come out streaky for the first one. But the second coat will cover really well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just let this dry. And then we'll come back to it and do a second coat. Okay, so now that the second coat is dry, you can see that it's much more opaque and smooth than just the first coat. And again, that's just because it is such a smooth material that it definitely needs the second coat to just make sure that it gets a nice coverage. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take our green acrylic paint and we are just going to dry brush um, some cross hatches and things on there with that. Okay, so now that our green is dry, we're going to go ahead and apply our stickers. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and re-put our um, top back on. And I'm going to put the same labels on this one as I will put on the prop one. And once we get all of our labels onto our usable version, then we are all set with this one. Okay, so to make our prop version of this um, that we won't be spraying, all we're going to do first is take the top of this off. And we're going to take this straw and we're just going to pull it out of the bottom. Now, if you are really worried that somebody may still be able to spray some of the alcohol solution, you can either take a little bit of E6000 glue or hot glue and just stop up the bottom. So then that way it can't actually pull any of the liquid. But this is going to be good enough for what I want to do. 
And then it's pretty easy from there. So we're just going to um, fill this up with alcohol. And I'm going to actually use a funnel just to make sure that um, I don't spill any all over my work area here. And we're just going to fill it up. Okay, so I purposefully stopped before filling it all the way up because I want them to be able to see that it's an actual solution and not just, um, you know, a paint or something like that. And I also want there to be enough room for it to mix up when we shake it up to give the swirling effect. So I'm using a mix of the green and the brown because I don't want it to be this really limey green. I want it to um, calm the green down a little bit. So we're going to do that with the brown. We're going to put a decent amount of the green in there. And then we're going to put some of the brown in there as well. And then we will cap it up and give it a shake. And as you can see, we get a really great swirling effect in there to create our flesh eating slug repellent. Okay, so to finish this off, we're going to add our labels. And I've actually created three for this. So um, we have the main one that will go on the front that says um, flesh eating slug repellent and has the slug on there. Um, and then it has C and CC apothecary for cooking and crack chick. And then on the back, we're going to do this um, C and CC apothecary um, sticker with the little mandrake on it and then there is a bottom tag that says with slugs out mandrake sprout so um, I'll show you how we're going to get all of these onto our container okay so the first the one we're going to put on is the long strip that will go along the bottom um, because that'll kind of help with the spacing of the one that goes above it so we're just going to kind of line this up on the bottom of the jar here and once we feel like it's in a pretty good position we can go ahead and smooth it out and if need be you can kind of move it a little bit here in the beginning but once it really gets stuck on they are not easy to get these stickers off so make sure you get your positioning the way you want it and I think that's pretty good. Okay, so then we're going to take our um, main label and we are going to attach it to the jar as well. And with curved bottles and rounded labels, you may have to use your um, nail or a bone folder or something, a credit card, to just kind of help smooth it out. So if you get a few little um, wrinkles, it's okay. Just smooth them out as best you can. And I feel like it just gives it a little bit of an aged look, so they don't really bother me. But just, um, you know, push them down as good as you can, so then that way it actually adheres to the bottle. And then if need be, press your hand against the label and it will just kind of help it to adhere to the bottle. Okay, so we've got this side down. So now we're going to turn it around and on the very back here, we're going to add our little circle with the mandrake. Okay, so there is our prop version with all of our labels and our solution on the inside. So we can go help Hagrid get rid of the flesh-eating slugs.
I decided to also create a jug of the flesh eating slug repellent. So it was similar to the one that Hagrid carried. And um, this is just a glass jug. I did the exact same technique th to this as I did to our usable version of the flesh eating slug repellent. And I have also included the label for um, this one in the file as well. So you have this nice big label. But um, I just wanted to be able to have the jug as well as the um, plant mister. So then that way I can put them together or have them separate. And there you have it, our flesh-eating slug repellent in a usable and prop version, as well as a jug. So if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.